Yo, welcome back Chosen Fam, welcome back, welcome back. Today, as promised, I'm continuing on my research for these badass saints in history that you've never heard of. Today, I want to cover Saint Simeon Stylites, Stylites maybe. This guy actually is a little bit controversial. I'm not gonna lie, this video is gonna be a little controversial. Um, because the way people look at it nowadays, um, they might not even consider this guy a saint. But, you know, the name Simeon has the meaning behind it. That means to be heard. Well, this guy certainly made himself heard. And he performed several acts of extreme, extreme austerity. But before we get into the video too far, make sure you hit subscribe for more content like this and hit the like, hit the like button for that uh, YouTube algorithm so I show up in your newsfeed again, if you want me to. Anyway, yeah, this guy, St. Simeon, had extreme forms of austerity. Austerity meaning these superhuman feats that he would do and he would voluntarily put himself through this type of suffering. 40 day fasts were common for this guy. And I'm not talking about just off of food, 40 day fasts, food, no food, no water, nothing, just meditation and fasting. Like this guy would perform these acts. What the controversial thing about St. Simeon is that he was quite the misogynist. And what he was most known for is he would stand, he kind of made this pillar and stood atop it and stayed there fasting. And the first time he did it, you know, he was up there for like something like well over 40 days, no food, no water. And how he did it was like beyond me. But atop that pillar, which was the first time he did it, you know, did it probably more than twice, but the first time where it's recorded, the pillar was about 15 feet up. And St. Simeon, the way he looked at it after the first time, doing this extreme fast, see if it's in my notes for exactly how long he was up there the first time. Um, yeah, he, uh, yeah, about 40 days, it looks like. He would be on top of this pillar with no food, no water. And people would climb up there and, and you know, ask for advice and stuff. The second pillar he stood on was actually 65 feet tall. He refused to come down. And this guy was actually such a misogynist. He kind of threw things at the women that, that came to him. That, that's why he's quite controversial. This guy uh, definitely looked at women like they were lesser than men. And that's a controversial thing. But there's no ignoring the superhuman feats that this guy performed, where he would be on top of a 65 foot pillar wouldn't come down for anybody and converted several pagans actually because of these superhuman feats because he's just up there fasting for long extended periods of time and to put the icing on the cake he actually wore this iron collar while he was up there on the 65 foot platform now if you know anything about you know metal you'll know it'll get extremely hot when it's warm out and it'll get extremely cold when it's cold out. So this guy was up there baking in the hot sun with this iron hot collar around his neck, not batting an eye because from his claim is, you know, faith in Jesus Christ was so strong and that's who was giving him this energy. He, uh... He actually chained himself to this pillar and he was up there for a pretty long period of time. And he actually, you know, died in meditation while he was chained up there. So the reason I have to have him on this list is like this guy out of many saints, there were a lot of saints that did, that went to war and performed, you know, some miraculous, you know, battle, uh, perform some miraculous like battling 
more or less. Like Joan of Arc is like another example. But this guy, you know, wasn't a warrior. Just kind of like this crazy guy on top of a platform saying, the Holy Spirit is the way. And, you know, and he just, you know, yelled out obscenities at the women, or, you know, which is kind of hilarious. You know, when you look at it nowadays, it's like kind of silly. But, yeah, like to go over 40 days with no food, no water, I mean, which is actually said to be impossible. It's, it's not considered possible to live that long with no food, no water. They, I think you, you could live, like they say, 40 days, something like that with no food, but with no water, it's supposed to be like only a couple weeks. So he definitely had to have had some kind of, you know, supernatural force keeping him alive. Now, or is it, is it supernatural or is it hypernatural? You know, that's a question to ask. Um, and with my opinion, I know ever since, you know, I kind of threw away my ego and went to Jesus, I realized that it definitely, I grew energetically in many ways. You know, it was almost like when you talk about like chakra balancing, everybody talks about balancing chakras. I feel like whenever I truly gave in my ego to Jesus Christ, all of those like immediately aligned. And a lot of things got easier for me. For example, like somebody says something insulting to me. Like it, I used to really get offended. Like you're actually, it would, it would tick me off a little bit. You know, if someone said, hey, John, you're a stupid head. I'd be like, hey, I'm not a stupid head. You know, but now like with, uh, with my faith in Christ, it's like people can say whatever they want about me. They can, they can kick me in the head or whatever. It's just it's like there's nothing you could do to take me away from my faith. I mean, if you kicked me in the head, I'd probably, I'd probably kick your ass. I don't think my my instructor, my jujitsu instructor, would want to hear about that. If, he, if I let someone kick me in the head and didn't do anything about it, he'd be ultra mad. But yeah, I mean, that does it for you know Saint Simeon Stylites or Stylites maybe. I think it's let's say let's go Stylites. Sounds sounds good for the time. But this dude, just a brief overview. It says that he died of an ulcer, actually, which you know may may or may not be true. I mean, it could be just uh, lack of food, lack of water, why he died on top of the pillar. But according to you know, depending on which source you get, most sources are going to say he actually died of this ulcer. But yeah, that's it for the video. Like again, go ahead and um, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'm going to have more content about Badass Saints. I'll have some jujitsu content. and But all in all, mostly my channel is going to be about God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Christ is the only way. Some of us know that. And, you know, let's get out here. Let's try to save some souls, you know, because the time is getting near. You know, he said when man is able to go to and fro with ease you know like the timing is soon and i mean i'm in a car driving right now going to and to to fro with ease so it's certainly you know something i want to keep a close eye on and before we end the video especially if you're still watching thank you so much and god bless you um i'm always leaving all these blessings in the uh description there's all kinds of stuff but I wanted to highlight one that's really, really cool. And it's not gonna work for everybody, but it's called Money SMS. And I'll leave the link in my description. Just look at it, if you punch in my referral code, you get an extra added bonus. But this is a cool little app where if you set yourself up with, with and sign up, then it go ahead, it, this app will kind of use like these computer algorithms for whenever uh, a text is supposed to be sent out with whatever company is using them. You know, they just need these random numbers to send out these texts for, you know, for like trials of experiments. It's usually like a link to some type of product. And you don't have to click the links. You know, most of them are a little, you know, sketchy anyway. So I never really click the links, but every time you get sent a text, it gives you, it pays you like five cents or something like that, or a few pennies. And those pennies are actually in euros. So whenever you cash out, you it actually converts from uh, euros to U.S. dollars. But it's actually a really cool app. 
And unfortunately, it doesn't work for everybody in each country. And with the United States, it seems like it's only certain states that it accepts. So go ahead and try to sign up. Let me know if you're having trouble. Um, maybe I can help you. Hopefully I can. But I do know that this app isn't available to everybody. So go ahead, click the link, try to sign up, see if it's available to you. But it's a really cool thing. I actually just recently cashed out about 30 bucks. Something I completely ignored, forgot it was on my phone, clicked on it the other day. I saw, oh, there's 30 bucks, transferred it to my account. Really, really cool, small passive income stream. You could do with uh, that money whatever you want. Take your girl for ice cream, whatever. God bless. Peace out, guys.